Hi everyone, just checking in with your Friday. Um, it's Kate French here, clinical psychologist. And um, yeah, I'm just taking a moment before I head to my next thing this afternoon, just to see how things have been traveling. Um, my Friday lives that are normally being done in the morning have had to be moved around a little bit. So um, yeah, just um, seeing how things are traveling. I know um, here in Australia, we are, looking at the uh, pointy end of term three um, and yeah just hearing um, lots of stories about families feeling pretty tired and um, you know finding kids are really beginning to feel it even though it's been so great we've had such a long run of uninterrupted um, time at school um, one of the things I suppose just to be remembering is that you know for lots of kids this is the first time they've had um, ongoing school for quite a number of years so you, it's I think kids are still adjusting to just the pace and the consistency um, of sport and everything being back following um, two years very interrupted especially in Victoria where I am um, so just keep that in mind if you're having challenges at home or you're noticing anxieties are, um, are raising up again after things had sort of settled down. Um, think about whether, you know, the fatigue, whether the, um, the energy has kind of waned, not just for the kids, but for us as parents as well. Um, so just be mindful of that. And, um, you know, always be thinking about is there enough rest time? Is it you know, is it time for some for some mental health mornings or mental health days to to manage that? Next week we do have. I think it's uh, is it next week or the week after? Next week is the first of September, but on the eighth of September, I think it is. Is Are You Okay Day? So, um, and I know some schools have started to do some discussion around that. Maybe even celebrating it earlier or not even on the day. Um, and so again, just keeping some of those things in mind whilst you know we have these different days that we celebrate. You know, one day of the year, um, but very much mental health is an everyday kind of thing well-being is an everyday kind of thing um, and it can certainly be something that gets pushed to the bottom of the pile sometimes when things get busy and hectic like I have certainly found this year to be just with everything back on so there's lots of things about you know lockdowns and things that we might have missed um, and if you have um, an introvert in your family or you have kids with um, you know sensitivities that get overwhelmed um, more easily then they may be feeling that so just bear that in mind if you're scratching your head if you kind of go I don't know what's going on things are going smooth and now the wheels are falling off or whatever it might be just yeah be mindful that um, it's still a big adjustment and it's the first time you know we've had this an extended period of time for some kids um, for their entire school lives so yeah that's that's something to think about the other thing I just wanted to make mention of is today's wear it purple day if you're not familiar I don't have my purple on like I said I do have a nice purple yoga outfit but I it wasn't clean so can't wear that today and I'm off to the hairdressers in a minute so not really appropriate wear for there um, but yeah wear it purple day is an awareness day for our young um, LBGTQI questioning um, kind of community and um, it's particularly important I think to again be raising awareness and raising understanding and raising um, a sense of a safe community for these young people um, and particularly in the work that I'm doing in uh, doing day by day in, in side by side psychology and in my coaching um, online practice is that um, there's a higher percentage of um, autistic and neurodivergent kids that we see also um, in that LBGT or questioning kind of community as well. So um, just knowing there's, I suppose, neurodiversity um, in gender, sexuality, um, the way of thinking and perceiving the world um, is something just to be mindful of as well, particularly mindful of. We should always be mindful of, but um, we see more of it um, in our neurodivergent community. Um, so be especially sensitive and I think it's just really important that assumptions are never made um, especially about you know kids and young people be just because I think sometimes we can think you know oh, well that's something we'll talk about or it's something they might have a bit more of an idea about once they're going into their teen years but certainly that's not um, be 
been my experience with my clients and families. There's some that have um, very strong awarenesses of those sorts of differences or comparing themselves or um, having an understanding of themselves from a much younger age. Um, so yeah, so it's just um, an awareness day. And like I said, next, um, in the beginning of uh, September, we have Are You OK Day coming up. Um, October actually, um, even further down the track, is sort of our um, really big mental health um, focus. Um, but yeah, just being, being aware, being mindful of looking after yourselves, um, keeping an eye on our young people, um, having conversations about um, well-being, mental health, relationships, all those sorts of things. So yeah, it just helps to uh, make them feel heard it helps to um, normalize any feelings of anxiety or difference and things like that. So yeah, if that's something that um, is, you know, perhaps, you know, bubbling around for your kids, um, yeah, just know that they just need a, a listening adult. They need, just need to know that um, somebody is going to listen to them in a non-judgmental kind of way and, um, and that, yeah, you know, we'll get through everything and anything together. I think that's the important thing for kids to hear is that there's an adult that's looking out for them and, and that you'll be, be alongside them. Don't have to have all the answers, but you'll just be there for them. So yeah, hopefully, um, your family and your young people are, are tracking along okay. But if not, if it's a bit bumpy at the moment, um, take heed, take a moment, recalibrate over the weekend if you can um, have a really quiet weekend if that's um, what's going to be needed for you um, I know that you know lots of different things are gearing up and lots of different things are ending and changing so yeah sometimes you just need to tap out of all of that and and do what you need for your family and for your um, you know special kids and your special young people that you're you're looking after and raising so um, I'm just going to leave it there because I've got to head off but thank you for joining me um, and again I'll be absolutely fully intention to doing a bit of an anxiety series um, over the next four weeks. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. And the other thing I'm really interested in doing, and if you're on my mailing list, you'll get an email soon, probably over the weekend, I think. Um, I'm really keen to do a bit of some round tables um, and just have some online discussions. I'll get a get a Zoom group together and, and chat a bit about um, what are the things that you really want to know about anxiety in our autistic and neurodivergent young people. Um, I've got a resource I put out um, uh, probably a year or so ago and um, it's been really um, well received and it's a really great resource um, and I'm really wanting to unpack that and create that into something um, that I can take parents through personally. So um, yeah, I just want to get um, a fresh feel for where parents are at, what kind of support and understanding they need um, immediately in their lives. Um, yeah, and, and just sort of, yeah, chat with you and, and, and see what comes up. So um, if you're interested in joining me, um, watch your email for the times when I'll be running that. Um, probably I'll be doing a an Australian time as well as a UK time as well for people who um, might be wanting to join me from the UK, even though it's a slightly different system. I know there's heaps of need um, in this anxiety autism space as well. So have an awesome Friday afternoon, no matter where you are. And thank you. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care.